Christy Ross, and I'm here with Laurent Loire, representing Pierre Jouet. Tonight we are at the uh, Savor Dallas event, which is an annual food and wine event started by Jim and Vicki White. And I actually was involved in the events a number of years ago when it was just getting started. So tonight, since I'm a champagne kind of girl, I found Laurent, and I wanted him to tell us a little bit about Pierre Jouet. Yes. Tell me about one of my favorite champagnes. So first you have good taste, because that's one of my favorite too. <laughs> that's ah, my good. favorite actually. Well, Pérejouet in France, it's a house located in Epernay. You know, here in the US, uh, usually you have to educate the consumers and tell him, not you, because you know your wines, but you have to tell him I know him champagne. That, you know, <laughs> champagne can only come from France. Uh, champagne is a region east of I... Paris, so that's a true champagne. And uh, the, one of the oldest houses of Champagne, as you can see on this big bottle, founded in 1811. And everybody knows about this bottle, and we call it in France the Champagne of, of Romance. Why? Because why this weird name that nobody can pronounce? Why Perrier Jouet? Because it was two different families. Mr. Perrier was a guy from a winemaking family, and Mrs. Jouet was a girl from the court so, making family. So it is a very romantic story of love. Exactly. And it's from Belle Epoque. Belle Epoque, yes. Which was the heyday of, I mean, that was the romantic exactly. uh, time of France. A lot of artistic movement celebrating nature. That's why the bottle's name is Belle Epoque, because the artist originally painted the flowers on the bottle was from this time period, the Belle Epoque. That's the thing about going to a festival like Savor Dallas. You get to meet really fascinating people, like our representative here from Pierre Jouet. And I can't wait to see what else we're going to discover tonight. Merci beaucoup, monsieur. Merci à vous, santé. Merci.